Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here to do your new moon in Aries reading. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We are at the beginning of a new astrological year. Um, let me just tell you how the setup of this uh, reading will go. So we'll do a brief introduction. We'll go into your reading then at the end of that reading, I'm going to give an explanation of what is going to be occurring with this new moon going into Aries with the, what you need to expect, um, how you need to really start out this astrological year. I'm going to give you some um, information on that. And then after that, we will have your extended reading. Okay. So once again, we'll do a little brief introduction in just a second here. Then we will have your reading. Okay. Then at the end of that, I'll do a brief understanding of what to expect with this new moon going into Aries and this new astrological year that we're embarking on. And then at the end of that, for those that are interested, um, you'll be able to go right into an extended version of today's reading, okay? So first and foremost, thank you so much. As I always start our readings, thank you for all of your love and your support. Thank you for the comments that you continuously, um, you know, leave for me. I read them all. Um, just a little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Now, do remember that the messages will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Hello to our cross-watchers. Uh, remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Subscribe to our channel. Like the reading if you think it applies to you. And if it does not, make sure you look at your other signs, okay? And if you think it's going to be uh, worthwhile for someone else, please leave us a like. Um, hit the button that's right next to it, of course, to subscribe. Remember, we do have a Patreon. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We are slowly but surely growing our Patreon. We put a lot of great information over there, included, including all of the extendants, okay? So all of the extendants are over there. You just need to join at the second or third level level. And also don't forget, we do weekly uh, pulling up energy. So you, you'll get all of that as well, which is well worth it for the price that we have it at. And um, don't forget, I think I said this, but let me just make sure that we do have private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below. All right, you and guys. Also you, you guys, let me just state this as well. Um, if you don't know how to set your intentions, this reading will be a guide for you to set your intentions, which is so important. We have the um, an instructional video under our New Moon playlist. So go to the New Moon playlist, and we have a video there showing you how to set your intentions. And I think I'll also put the link to that below. So just look below for that video on how to set your intentions. And also, we have done a reading for Cap, uh, excuse me, Saturn returning to Aquarius. Saturn has been in a Capricorn for the last three years, and Saturn just returned to Aquarius um, on this past Saturday, March 21st. That is huge. It is so huge. So make sure you go back and look under the playlist. I think we have it under uh, Saturn return. Look for that playlist, and um, and that will apply to your sun, your moon, your rising. And also for Aries, we have done a reading for Aries season. We will start doing readings for each season as we come into it. So Aries is a very lengthy video um, about what to expect going into the season. So if you have Aries um, to in your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign, or Jupiter, let me encourage you to watch that reading as well, okay? All right, you guys, now on to your reading. Hello, my Sagittarius. Okay, let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020. What messages? Wow, that was fast. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius? Okay. Okay, 
morning, Holy Spirit, divine and create the universe with messages that they put forth for the sign of Sagittarius. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. What messages need to come forth for the sign of Sagittarius? Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. Wow. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. The cards are coming out so quick. Well, I'm going to tell you that the energy so far, it has been. Uh, we do some quick shuffles, that's for sure. Holy Spirit, divine, creative, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. What messages? Okay, there it is. That one was refusing to go back down. All right, let's see what's going on. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I haven't seen this card in a long time. All right, so Sagittarius, you need to release your ex. Um, I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than that. If you're still carrying on energy of the ex, you need to totally release that person now uh, because it's, it's bringing forth blockages for you. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. So I feel like once you get this X out of your energy, everything that you desired um, will turn to gold for you. Everything that you want will come to pass, okay? And some of you, you know, some of you might say, well, I'm not with my ex. You might be carrying the energy of old relationships, Okay, and that's what you really need to clear out of your system. So for the cross watchers, it doesn't necessarily mean a physical person that they're having a relationship, but it could. Um, could be a social media uh, thing, a, a, a DM, texting, that kind of thing going on where they totally need to get this person out of their system. They could be looking at pictures from the ex, following them, um, you know, looking at their storylines. There's a lot that could go on with this. And so that's what we're talking about. You need to totally clear the X out of your system where you don't have the desire to look at pictures or go in their DMs or text them or whatever you're doing, you know, looking at their social media. You need to clear all of that out of your system. Believe and trust. And your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. So just believe and trust that you're on the right path and you feel like you're not on the right path. Believe and trust that spirit will you know, direct you and, and put you in divine order of where you should be. Affirmations to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. Uh, Sagittarius, you really need this. You really need to speak, um, in a, a speak positively and have that spoken to you in the straight in the morning time. You know, as we have another card called Morning Affirmations. But I feel like that's where you are. But when you pick up that phone, before you pick up that phone and you go into your social media, looking at all of this that's going on these days, you need to go to something positive first. That's what you, your mind needs to open to, something positive. Connect with nature. Anytime we get this nature card, anything dealing with nature, that spirit saying, I need to talk to you. Nature is where you clear your mind out. So it says you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. So definitely need to spend some time outdoors to Get a clear mind. In autumn, in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. So put your time in now because in the autumn time, that's when you're going to see the full manifestation of um, everything growing. Okay? Everything about to go, you're going to see the full manifestation, excuse me, of everything. It would have been growing at that time. Harvest means that we are actually picking up the abundance. Okay? And so that's what's going to be happening. But it's important that you center yourself now so you'll have a harvest in the autumn time. And forgiveness. Who do you need to forgive? Or who needs to forgive you? What I'm feeling. Who may need to forgive you for things that you've done? 
All right. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, does this ex need an apology from you? I feel like with some of you, this ex is a little bit more serious because some of you haven't told the truth to this ex. And they're believing something that was not true. And you've carried that. Not freeing them from a situation. So you really might need to clean that up as well. Okay? I don't know who that is for. But whoever it's for, you'll know because it'll, it'll stick right to your spirit. There's something you have done that this you need to ask this ex. Uh, you need to apologize to this ex for. For something you have done. And for some of you, you just need to work on forgiveness, period. Okay? Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius. See? Somebody's moving on. Somebody's making a transition. Somebody's just, they're done. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to their moon, new moon intentions from March 24th, 2020. Okay, during the shuffle, I am going to let you know if you have an angel code coming through. See if any signs, what signs have shown up or the energy of those signs. And also let you see what parts we're going to be talking about in our extended version, okay? All right, what messages need to come through for the sign of Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? the message from you for you spirit is telling me the shuffle wasn't done so let's see what else is coming out what further message needs to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius what further message needs to come forth for the sign of Sagittarius what further message there it is wow Okay. So we'll get into oh wow. Okay, so we'll get into all of the oh my goodness. Okay, so we will definitely get into all of this during the extended. I see why we weren't done. Sheesh. Woo. All right. My goodness. Okay, let me just <laughs> let me just collect myself on this for I wasn't expecting all of that. I was not expecting all of that, and I was not expecting what I'm looking at me before me because your angel code is actually 999. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 999 is your angel code that's coming through for sure. Um, I'm blown away. I just need to pause for a minute. This is um, kind of throwing me. I wasn't expecting this. Okay. Um, signs you could be dealing with. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Will of Fortune is a uh, fire energy as well as the tower is fire energy. Um, so it can't, again, you got a lot of wands here. So fire, 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 fire. So that's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. We have already talked about the swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra that's here. You have earth energy as well. Okay, with Taurus, Capricorn. And Virgo in the world represents Earth. And then Cups. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. Okay, you guys. Um, Nine of Swords. We're going to be dealing with this in the extended version. Will of Fortune in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Wands. Twin Flame card here. The Tower. The World. And your overarching energy is the Nine of Cups. Okay. So we're definitely going to be dealing, yeah, with this situation. And, um, yeah. And information pertaining to the extended, you guys, can be found below. 
All right, meet me on the other side. Okay, you guys, just a little bit about what is going to be occurring with this new moon in Aries. First of all and foremost, do remember that Aries is the first zodiac sign. It is a, it's the very first sign. It is a fire sign, okay? And it is also a cardinal sign. What does that mean? Let me just give you an example of what cardinal means. Let's say, for instance, you are about to bake a cake and you turn the oven on so the, um, the temperature can begin to increase. And then once it increases, it begins to bake. You put the cake in, it begins to bake because the temperature would be the same. And then when the temperature is off and the cake is finished, then the temperature goes down. Well, cardinal is when you first turn the oven on. Cardinal is like when the temperature is increasing okay um it hasn't stabilized yet but it is increasing well that's what cardinal is for aries aries is the type of sign that it builds okay it it moves it builds okay its behavior it builds that's what that means so um the first day of aries season this is going to mark the start of a new astrological year um, this also is the first of the lunar cycle as well. So we got a lot of first that's going on here. The moon and Aries will be in conjunction with um, the comet Sharon. And I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's, it's Charon or Sharon. I'll just put the information below because I can never remember if that CH is silence with shush or K. Okay, so just put that below for me. But it represents deep wounds as well as um, deep healing. Okay, and the alignment of these astrological energies, it, it brings us to uh, a, a bit of transformation, like it's very intense. Our transformation is very intense, but it, it's needed to bring us to this transformational intensity towards that light. That's what it's really trying to do for us. And it's also give, it's given us a feeling that we have to go through the flames to get where we are going. And that's really what, what's happening when you're transforming. Aries is bold and it's brave. Um, but we need, to, and we need to rely on this energy to kind of move us forward to where we're going. Okay. Now you'll decide during this, um, you know, during this full moon um, to take the low road or to take the high road. That's what you're going to be deciding during this period. And you'll have to confront your shadow self and the person you are desiring to be. So it's, it's going to be really hitting some things head on during this period. Um, it, it's going to allow you to change your mood. And you're going to get inspired to work on being the best version of you. Okay, so it's very, very important during this new season, this new astrological year, to really make those hard decisions about who you are and who you want to be. Okay? All right, you guys. I love you, love you so much. Now, for those who have gotten the extended, on to your extended.